All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning, and good afternoon, and good evening, regarding regardless where are you located. Uh, our topic today is about hijab in Islam. You know, the Muslims they give you a headache speaking of the modesty in Islam. Now, modesty is not really by a certain piece of a clothes you wear; it's about a behavior you do. I will show you an example of the fabrication of Muslim stories which maybe many of you do not really, uh, you know, or unable to recognize how Muslims fabricate stories just to uh, sponsor an idea. Uh, this is Facebook in the front of me. Let me share it with you on the screen. Jack Cameron. Now, even they use, they use uh, names which is not Muslim names just to fool you. Some days ago, I talked to a Christian friend of mine who told uh, something very surprising. She told that sometime she and her mother and sister wear hijab. Out of astonishment, I asked her why cause she was a Christian who belonged to a Christian family. Here you will notice right away the fabrication in the story. Because if this story is about modesty, and he's trying to prove that women, when they want to be modest, they wear hijab. This idiot, he just said in the story that this woman, sometime she wear hijab. Sometime. What do you mean sometime? Sometime she is a modest and the other time she is not? <laughs> sometime. <laughs> okay, sometimes... She and her mother and her sister wear hijab. And then the rest of the story is about, uh, uh, you know, trying to convince you that hijab is a symbol of modesty, not a symbol of uh, oppression. You see, you can say it is a symbol of modesty if you don't force your girls to wear them. If they choose to wear whatever they want. then is not going to be a sign or symbolic of oppression. But when you force them and you beat them by the stick, and we can show you tons of videos for women being beaten for not wearing hijab, and even some women get killed, that is nothing but oppression. So let me ask you, Abdul, in Islam, do the women have a choice to wear hijab or not to wear hijab, or she have to wear hijab? If the answer is yes, then this is oppression. If the answer she don't have to then she's free to do it and good for her you know she like to wear it she wear it but as we know islam is very clear about that that every woman she should wear that and the men they have to enforce their women to do that and the man in islam have the right to beat the women if she disobey for any reason or even if he fear that she will be disobedient not even she did not be disobedient yet and that can be found in many places in the Quran, including a Muslim man, he is allowed to beat his wife if she don't want to sleep with him in the bed. And we can show you tons of reference about that. And this is one of them. This is a story of a woman. She don't want to sleep with her husband and he caused her beating until he made her skin greener than her clothes. And she came to Aisha to complain. And Aisha, she said, look, look. Her skin is a greener than her garment. And Aisha, she said, and I'm quoting, I never saw oh, any women suffering as much as a believing woman. This is the witness who Aisha saying that nobody suffer in this world as much as Muslim women. Why? Because men are allowed to beat their wife and humiliate them and spit on them and do whatever they want actually muhammad he said if your husband he have a puzz in his nose you better lick it and if you do so you did not do enough if the husband asks his wife to come to the bed and she says i cannot or i don't want to do it allah and the angels will curse her until the morning and here is a story of a woman she got beaten not even for not wearing hijab she don't feel like having sex with the guy and what if she don't want to have sex at all beat her or rape her she came to the prophet to complain what the prophet did he took the side of the man and he allowed him to beat her and he gave him a chapter in the quran 
saying that a man is in a charge of women and he can beat her and he can jail her and he can admonish her for she is a property so don't tell me that women in Islam they wear hijab because they are afraid to do so but because they are a property and you are covering your property you put fence around your property because you are an owner if we go in the Quran we will find the following just to show you the respect of the Quran for the women Every single verse in the Quran speak of women is a humiliation for women. This is the chapter 4, verse number 34. And this is your Muslim translation, Abdul's. I have nothing to do with it, so don't tell me I'm fabricating translation. Or we can show you the interpretation for the verses too. The women, if you fear any of your women, any of your women, just fear. She did not do it yet. Huh? Now look, let us read from the beginning. Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel of, of the others. And because they spend of their property money on them. <laughs> you are a hooker in Islam. You are a prostitute. This is what those who hire a prostitute, they do. They pay you money and then they want the return. If they don't take off your panty, they will beat you up. We paid you. So good women are obedient. Okay, what if a woman she is not obedient? She is a bad woman. So what is obedient is about? Obedient is to obey the husband and to obey Allah. And Allah, he says in different verse in the Quran, that women they have to wear and cover themselves. So don't tell me this is a symbolic of modesty. This is a symbolic of oppression and a property, ownership. And then guarding in secret in which Allah has guarded as for those whom you fear rebellion fear they did not even be rebellion admonish them and punish punish them to the beds which mean you know don't even sleep with them the man he have many wives he can just put you in a room he jail you he tie you up to the bed and he don't stop sleeping with you for maybe a month or two or even a year who care you're a goat and then scourge them So don't fool people who speak about modesty. In the Bible, speak about modesty. The Bible says that they thought a woman, she is a harlot because she was covering her face. This is in the book of Genesis, chapter 38, verse number 15. For this is what the tradition of the harlot to do so. Why? Because they are covering their face for they are doing a shameful act. They don't want anyone to know that they are harlot or let us say they know them. They are already because they are wearing the, the, the burqa. So, uh, uh, but at least they will not know their faces. And even uh, uh, in certain time, those harlot, they have sex with the man, but they will not allow the man to see their faces. So this is the burqa, my friend. And telling me that the Christian women, she said to you that this is symbolic of modesty. This is a fabrication because modesty, modesty is not only about a piece of a clothes you wear. It's about a behavior. If I go right now to YouTube and search only for one word in YouTube, ma'alaya, <clears throat> ma'alaya, do you see it? One word. This is the modesty. All the women there, they are wearing hijab. With no exception. Dancing in front of mullahs, sheikhs, shaking their booty and having sexual behavior dance. Two women dancing in the top of each other. And you know what I'm talking about. I think you have eyes and you can see. Where is the modesty? If I play the video for you, you will not believe what you will see. Yes, your women, you wear hijab, but they broke every law of God. And they are not modest people. I live in the Middle East. I know what the Middle East is about. There is nobody do prostitution as much in the Middle East. But all is under the cover. Clothes never been a reason for a woman to be bad or good. However, I agree that sometimes some kind of clothes are rejected. They are inviting someone to tell you, like to tell, to give a wrong message. 
but this is not really the clothes Muslims they wear is not a clause of modesty go and see how many kilograms of makeup they put in their face go and see how much perfume they put in their body do go and see the adultery that the cheating this is your Islamic countries my friend don't fool us and say hijab look all of them they are wearing hijab do you see one of them is not wearing hijab I just type one word I did not type ten words to search tons of thousands millions of videos of Muslim women wearing hijab showing their, their they, they show everything actually but they are wearing hijab so stop fooling yourself and the hijab itself came down because of what because Umar ibn Khattab was spying at the wife of the Prophet and he said to her when she was doing poo-poo Arifnaki ya Sauda. It was not because of a decent Muhammad. It is Umar al Khattab who made the hijab happen. Umar al Khattab he said, My Lord agree with me in three things, and one of them is the hijab. Hmm? Do you see it? So she went out, Sauda, the daughter of of, of Zama. And the wife of Allah Messenger, may sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, does not mean may peace upon him. This is a light translation. It says, may Allah pray on him and salute him. During one of the nights when she, it was dark, she was tall. Stuttered lady. Omar called her saying, Sauda, Sauda, we recognize you. What a filthy man. A woman, she is doing poo-poo. The filthy man speaking to her during the time she is doing poo poo, saying to her, We recognize you, Sauda. Looking at her body when she is naked. And then, in order to fix what happened, he went to Muhammad to make himself like the decent man. Say, Ah, man, you better order your wives, you know, to uh, cover themselves. The bad and the good come to you. And so, who is the bad and who is the good? You are the bad. So the revealed verse was actually exactly as Omar he said. If you go and see what Omar said in different hadith, he says, So Allah he sent the verse exactly as I said, which means Muhammad copied what Omar said and he put it in the Quran. And the verse of the Quran about the hijab came just because to cover the ass of Sauda, not because of modesty. And actually, the story says that Omar he said to Muhammad many times to cover his wives. And Muhammad, he ignored it. Why Muhammad was not a person of modesty? Why he don't want to do it from the first time? And why Allah did not send that to Muhammad before Omar speak about the ass of Sauda? Do you see it? <laughs> this is the truth. So don't fabricate stories about you Muslims are modest and you wear hijab. What hijab? We know it all. And hijab today is the biggest industry, by the way. Big companies, they send money to sheikhs to promote the hijab because they make billions of dollars from the hijab, fashion of hijab. Go and see what they wear. A woman, she is wearing burqa. She jumped in the water in the beach to swim. Her clothes will go inside her ass. Excuse my language. You will see every single detail of her body. This is not modesty. What is the modesty when you go to Hajj where women she is attached by a man from every side? She's wearing hijab, she's wearing burqa, but men are molesting her from every side. What is the modesty? What is the modesty when Muhammad he said to Muslim women, go and give a breastfeeding for adult? This is modesty. Muhammad is making fun of you. The woman she said to Muhammad, How I'm going to do breastfeeding for a growing man? Muhammad, the 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 the, the devil, he laughed. <laughs> I know he's a growing man. Just give him your boobs. Uh, yeah. This is modesty. What about the modesty of the man too, where Muhammad, he exposed his penis in front of everybody and he, he teach you how to, to, to play with it. 
what is the modesty when a woman she called TV station and she says that is it okay actually just yesterday I posted in uh, uh, let me show you hold on give me a second give me a second let's let show the, the modesty in Islam I want to show you the most modesty just yesterday I posted this link let me go and find it please Modesty, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay. One of you sent me this link, actually. Look at this. Using hand in my wife vagina when in menses. What kind of religion teach modesty? Making such a question. A man asking a strange man about what he should do to the vagina of his wife. Can I use my hand to my wife vagina during her menstruation for pleasing her without any pajama? And here the answer come with no shame. What is the modesty? Modesty is not only about you wearing a clothes. It's about a lifestyle. Obviously, you Muslims, you have no lifestyle of modesty. You have no shame to go and speak in public about what do you do in bed? And this is exactly what Aisha she used to do. Aisha she told every story about Muhammad, what he do with her, how he kiss her, how he touch her, how he how he molest her, how he put his penis between her legs when she have her period. What is the modesty? This is modesty. What about the modesty of your prophet promising us? And the children will read that that in the heaven we will have a penis will never sleep. And women, their vagina will be so beautiful and their breast amazing. And they are harlot who they are imported from hell because they are expert with sex. Let us go and see. This is modesty. What is the modesty? Is that a modest? So we make the women wear hijab and then we tell the men, I will give you a penis will never sleep. I will give you a woman have a desirable front. This is a false translation. He's talking about how beautiful their vagina and how beautiful their breast. And they are important from hell, imported, for they are hookers, expert with sex. And yet you want to give me a speech about modesty, you liar? Fabricating stories about I spoke to a Christian woman. This is remind me of the story of the guy who said a Christian guy who converted to Islam because he saw him each time he go to the bathroom he take with him some water, and then he asked him why. He said I clean my ass with it, and then the Christian guy he took some water with him and he cleaned his ass with him uh, with it, and then he he came out crying, as if this guy he never cleaned his ass before, and this is why he converted to Islam. This is the stupidity of Islam. I don't want to speak long. Please download the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. This video will not stay long because I'm sure they will be they will be so angry from this video. So please download and share everywhere. The video will be ready. I think YouTube take it uh, maybe 15 minutes to make it ready or 10 minutes. So just refresh the page, and we will see you today again. I, I I hope I will be able to make a broadcast. This is just a fast one. Good morning, everybody. I am so proud to be Christian. Thank you, Lord. My Lord is the Lord of Dignity. The dignity is not a clothes you wear. A naked man who don't do what Muhammad do is one billion time than Muhammad. A rapist, a criminal, a thief, a cheater, even his own wife, son, his own son, wife. He went to the house of her, uh, the, the, her husband and he flirted with her according to the Islamic explanation for the Quran. Imagine. Flirting with the wife of his son. Here we go. The woman she is in her house. Is that modesty? The woman she is home. The prophet come to the home and he flirt with the wife of his own son while she is married to him. And he flirt with loud voice. And then the woman she told her husband, Your father was here and he flirt with me. So the son he went to the to the Muhammad. He know him, he's a criminal. He said, this is his son by adoption. He said, you know what? My wife, she insults me always. I don't want her really. Muhammad, he said to him, no, no, keep her, man. Keep her. What the, what the idiot? A second ago, you were flirting with the wife. You want her. He knew 
he said that in perf purpose because he knew when he hear this he would be scared to be killed to be slaughtered he can send him to war and get him killed easy so he divorced her Muhammad he took her in the same day without even witnesses he slept with her in Islam you cannot have a marriage without two witnesses as uh, uh, Zainab she said to Muhammad where is my witnesses he said Allah and Jibreel I may with my witnesses where is the modesty I can have adultery right now and people they say to me where is the witnesses of the marriage I say Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses you have no modesty in Islam a prophet who promised you endless penis is not a modest man and his God is not a modest God a prophet and God who promised me women who they are going to be see-through is not a modest God women are just made for sex all your religion is about sex this is why I advise everybody to go and get my books go and learn and educate yourself sex and Allah this is my last book You better have it so you can learn I advise actually most of those who buy my my last book is the Muslims this is the truth about Islam my friend don't fool yourself this is not a religion it does not even go to the level of religion it is a stupid cult the, the demonic satanic cult based on sexuality and violence and hate and yet they want to fool us that our women should wear hijab thank you very much for listening may the lord bless you and enter we'll see you later today again i hope this is a christian prince and wish you the best for the rest of the day christ is lord and islam is false and see you soon again bye bye